Hello, Sastrakal. Thank you again for Prime Asia for being here on a, one of the most important days in Peel Regional Police history, where we have had a significant boost from our budget that has been presented to Regional Council that is directly related to all the pressures the community is seeing here in Peel Region. We know that people want to see more police officers. They want to see more a response for big things like the carjackings, the thefts, the robberies, the gang violence. But all of that starts with having more people. And this today's budget represents a significant investment in the number of people that we have here at Peel Region. It won't be all solved in one year. We will need to continue to build on this in the years to come. But not only will we have more uniform officers being hired more next year, this year in 2023, but also we will have additional people that are in civilian roles. Some of them will be uh, in our 911 communication center to prevent the 911 delays. And so this infusion is a significant step forward in making Peel region and continuing to make it the safest municipality. I know Prime Asia has been a strong partner in making sure the community knows some of these pressures. They're real pressures and sometimes we cannot do it them on our own, but we do recognize that we need to also be improved. This is uh, going to be uh, the largest budget, as I said, in Peel Regional Police history. But as a growing region with a population growth rate and everything we see, the largest airport, largest transportation hub, all the five major highways and 1.5 million people, we need to be leaders in this space. And so we're thankful for yes, today. Thank you. I think the ask today uh, is not going to solve everything. We really need more officers and we need more civilians. Uh, today's ask was balancing the impact on tax dollars in the community, but also uh, managing our ability to hire and bring people on staff. Next year, we will be back again asking for another step forward to strengthen this. And it may become more, it may be the same, but uh, today will not solve everything. We uh, calculate we need uh, 300 new officers just to get to where our growth is now. And we probably, as you said, need far more civilians in the communications sphere. But we recognize we want to be thoughtful stewards of it. But next year, we, with the support of the Police Services Board and Council, we will continue to invest in the safety. Yes, so without a doubt, in Brampton and in Peel Region, we see the high-end luxury vehicles being stolen. Some of the most uh, sold vehicles are here, right in Brampton. Uh, what we can see is, you know, the budget will also assist our ability to respond, to investigate, and maybe strengthen our uh, auto investigative th teams. But we know that that's only one solution. The auto manufacturers have to come beside police and solve uh, the reasons why it's being stolen. So on March 10th, we'll be meeting here. I, I know Prime Asia will be there for sure. We're going to be meeting with our stakeholders, government, uh, auto manufacturers, the province to find other solutions to stop it, including our border security, where the automobiles are being shipped to other countries. If we turn the dial down on all of those pressures, we will see it being improved. But the people in Brampton and Peel Region need to know that we are gonna work not just from the police side, but to lobby and advocate the manufacturers for solutions.